Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So I'm super excited about today's video. I'm gonna be comparing several different types of black paint that you can buy anywhere and we're going to be seeing which one produces the best results on painted wood signs. So I've gone through lots of different paints over the years trying to figure out which one I like the best but it's actually, I'm kind of curious to see when they're all compared together, which one looks the best, which one has the overall best results. So we're gonna find out today. I'm gonna be painting some new wood signs for my craft room. So I figured this was a great opportunity and time to be able to uh, paint them and see which one looks the best. And I'm not selling them or anything like that. So once I find a new winner, I might be switching my paint. So we'll see. Okay, so the paints that we're gonna be trying out today Krylon Color Max in flat black. It's just an acrylic paint. You can get this at Lowe's. We have good old Apple Barrel from Walmart in flat black. You can get this for 50 cents at Walmart. Then we have a little bit of an upgrade from the Apple Barrel. It is Folk Art in black. And then we're gonna be trying spray paint, which I'm actually really excited to try this. A lot of people swear by this method, so we will see how this turns out. It's just in flat black as well. And then we have Waverly chalk paint and in ink. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head on outside and sand the wood. I have it all cut and ready. The first step, if you want really good crisp lines, is to make sure your wood is sanded extremely well. And the wood that I use is either birch plywood and half inch or blonde wood half inch. And it already seems like it's sanded when you get it and you might think that's good enough, but trust me, you need to make sure that your sign is always sanded extremely well. You will see a very, very big difference if you make sure your wood is good and sanded and smooth. So we're gonna go ahead and head on outside and get our wood sanded. Okay, so ignore my messy garage, but the sandpaper that I use is 220 grit. This is Gator brand. You can get it at Lowe's or Walmart, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and sand my wood down now. Okay, so here is our wood all cut and ready to be sanded. I'm doing 12 by 12 signs today, so um, that's the size I'll be using. So the next thing I usually do is just take um, a paper towel and wipe the excess sawdust and everything off of the signs so that way whenever I'm painting it there won't be anything left underneath the paint because that will give you bad results with your wood signs. I just wanted to show y'all real quick the wording that I'm gonna have for these signs. The top one says, work hard, dream big, maker of pretty things. Please excuse the mess, but I craft here. Happiness is handmade and craft more worry less. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and get cutting now while we're waiting for the paint to dry. So my signs have been drying all day. It is now nighttime and I have my sayings cut and weeded and I have my transfer tape on them. So now we get to test out the paints.
So this is with two coats of the spray paint. Definitely a good, thick um, coverage. So I'm definitely anxious to see how this turns out. I'm kind of hoping it does turn out pretty well because if it does, it's definitely easier. <laughs> so we'll definitely have to see how this one turns out. Okay, so here is the first coat of the Apple Barrel paint. I will need to go over it one more time. As you can see, there's a couple little spots that need to be touched up. So the coverage isn't too, too thick on the Apple Barrel, but um, we'll do one more coat of that, but we will see how it turns out. So here is the Folk Art Coat 1. It definitely was a thicker consistency and very easy to apply. Um, it looks like it covered a lot better than the um, Apple Barrel. So I'll only have to go over maybe a couple of spots twice, but I definitely don't really need to do two full coats. So that is what I think so far of the Folk Art of the first coat. Okay, so first coat of the Krylon. This is actually the paint that I'm currently using right now with my wood signs. The reason I like this paint is just because it's very thin, but it's thick, so like the coverage is better, if that makes sense. So with one coat, as you can see, it's pretty good. There's a couple spots that I'll have to go over with a second coat, but um, yeah, so I guess we will just see how it compares to the other signs here shortly. But that is the first coat of the Krylon Color Max. Okay, here is the first coat of the Waverly Chalk Paint, and obviously it is a thicker paint, so it has better coverage. Um, I will have to go over, obviously, a few little spots here and there, but definitely a great coverage, so we will definitely see how this one turns out. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and peel the spray painted sign, so let's see how this looks. Okay, so here, here we have the spray painted sign. I think it actually turned out really well. There is a little spot that um, the paint, I don't know if you can see it right there on the end, or the, the paint, um, I kind of got it with my vinyl and it kind of took the paint off. Maybe I could have let it dry a little bit longer. But definitely very crisp lines and very thick, so it looks really good. Now we have the Apple Barrel paint. This is the Apple Barrel Salts, and as you can see, 
some of the paint definitely did peel off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the next one and then in the end, I'll show you guys all up close what they look like. Okay, now I'm going to do the folk art. I actually touched the um, thing with my, or the I touched the paint with my hand which had black paint on it so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean that up with some alcohol really quick So here is the result of the Krylon. So definitely had some paint chip and some paint pull up, which is kind of like I said, no signs will do that and there are ways to touch them up, but definitely had some issues here, a few. Okay, now we're gonna do the Waverly chalk paint. All right, here are the results of the chalk paint. So definitely had some spots because this is such a thicker paint, the paint would pull up a little bit. And that is one reason that I went away from chalk paint. I just didn't like how thick it was, but that is the result of the Waverly chalk paint. Okay, so I have everything kind of laid out now so we can kind of go into more details, pros and cons of each paint. So here we had the apple barrel in black. So as you can see here, we definitely had some paint pulling up and this is after the paint is fully dried. So as you can see, the paint definitely came up a lot, which I used to use this paint a lot and um, I kind of had issues with this, but I still like to use it for like if I'm adding color to things because you can touch all of these up and make it look pretty, pretty good. So. Definitely, this is the results of this one. So definitely not the number one, I don't think. Um, pros to it, it's cheap. It is easy to find. It's at Walmart and um, easy to get to. Cons, I would say, obviously, it is very thin and you have to do multiple coats and it does peel. So that is the result of our Apple Barrel paint. Folk art paint, which you can also find at Walmart or you can find at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, um, is very low priced. It's only around a dollar. It had really good results, I think. There was obviously a few spots, but really nothing bad at all. I think that it had very good results for being such a low cost paint. So pros, I would say low cost, can find it very easy. Um, you could probably use a coupon and get it pretty low priced too. Cons, I would say, I guess it would just be that it is a little bit, you, it's not perfect. But like I said, really, you can touch this up and make it look really nice. So definitely have good results with that. All right, next we have our Krylon Color Max. So I, I've always liked this paint just because it has a great coverage for being so thin. And it does sometimes have little issues like this, which is why I've been in the market for other paints. But as you can see, we had a little bit of bleeding here, which can be easily touched up. Um, but yeah, definitely not the best results compared to the others. So good coverage, I'd say. So that's a pro, pretty good coverage. 
and it's pretty thin, so it goes a long way um, with good coverage, but it definitely has issues like this with bleeding because it's so thin. So I definitely wouldn't rate it number one for sure. All right, next we have our spray paint, Rust Oleum. So I am extremely happy with how the spray paint results turned out. And this is kind of what I wanted and hoped would happen. As you can see, the lines, whoops. As you can see, the lines are super crisp. I had one spot down here that I messed up when I was weeding, where'd it go? Right here. But that can be easily touched up. But I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. Pros are spray paint can be pretty inexpensive, so you can find it pretty much anywhere. I would definitely be picky about brands. I would definitely stick with Rust-Oleum or Krylon. I wouldn't go with like the cheaper brands, but I'm very happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna have to experiment a little bit more with maybe smaller fonts, but so far I'm pretty happy with this. It's definitely my favorite. Okay, and then last is our Waverly chalk paint. So as you can see, we definitely had not absolute perfect results with this. As you can see, the paint definitely bled and pulled up in some spots. And this is the main reason that I left and quit using chalk paint, just because of issues like this where you can see it was just so thick that when you're peeling it, it pulls up the paint. And for being such a high cost item, and I don't know if it's just Waverly, but um, all chalk paints are pretty high priced, I think. I don't feel like it was the best for the price point. I just don't like how thick it is. Now, everybody's different. I know there's a lot of people that might love chalk paint, but just for me and my you know, methods, I just don't like it that much. But this is the results of the Waverly chalk paint. So pros to this paint, I would definitely say you know, it is thicker paint, so you can cover and not have to do as many coats. And then cons, I would say, I would say that you have to deal with things like the paint chipping or bleeding and, um, you know, parts like this where the paint comes up and you have to touch up a little bit more. So I definitely would not rate that a number one for me at least. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and lay them out um, from my favorite to my least favorite really quick. Okay, so here I have my favorite all the way down to my least favorite. So obviously I told you guys I really liked how the spray paint turned out. I have to experiment a little bit more, but for at least this project, spray paint is definitely my favorite. And then second place I would definitely give to the folk art for being such a low cost and having pretty great results. Definitely a number two, if not close to number one. Definitely very, very good. Um, third place I would give to the Krylon Color Max just because it doesn't always fail me. But the thing about it is, you know, you sometimes have great results with it and you sometimes don't. So that's why I've kind of been in the market for new paint. But third place for that. And then the fourth place I would give to the Apple Barrel just because I feel like it does have good coverage. It just kind of stinks that you have to deal with things like this, um, but it can be touched up. And then last place I would give the Waverly Chalk just because I've been using it for so long and I kind of know that this is what you can expect with it. If you have any tips or tricks for that, that would be great to let me know. Um, I just, for me, it just doesn't, doesn't work. So here we have our results of our project today. All right guys, so that wraps it up for this video. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a part two tomorrow on how I plan on touching these signs up. You might think that signs might be ruined when they bleed or anything like that, but there is always a way to fix them. I have learned a few tips and tricks, so maybe I'll show you all that in the next video. Um, I'm very happy with how everything turned out. I was honestly surprised. I didn't know how any how it was gonna be. I didn't know if they were gonna all look the same and be great, or if they were all gonna be a disaster, or which one was gonna be the best, which one was gonna be the worst. So I'm very happy, and spray paint definitely surprised me, and I'm excited to experiment more with that, maybe with smaller letters and just see how it goes. So yeah, I guess that wraps it up for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.